Hello, this is Mike again from Scratch with a quick heads up video of a tutorial series I'm working on right now. Well, kind of a tutorial series, kind of a quick mini series here on YouTube, and it's called Bowling with Blank. So, bowling with game engines, uh, so we're going to look at bowling with Unity, bowling with Unreal Engine, etc, etc. Essentially, what I'm looking at doing is re-implementing the same game over and over again in different game engines. And you can see the game I created in front of you. Basically, it is a game by the longest stretch of the word because it's very minimalistic, but that's actually kind of what's great about it. What this is, is bowling. It's basically 5-pin bowling with a 10-pin bowling ball. Uh, I can move back and forth uh, if I give myself focus like this. Using physics, I can throw the ball, it hits the pins, it interacts with the pins, those pins are physically enabled, they are imported from FBX files or whatever file format is appropriate. So you're actually seeing a lot of the basic building blocks of a full 3D game in probably one of the simplest but reasonably useful minimized examples possible. Uh, that is a bowling game. So basically you can think of this as a hello world. Uh, what do you get out of this? Well basically on the one hand it gives you a quick introduction uh, to how to work with a particular engine. I'm not going to any depth with any of these series. Basically I'm going to go here's how I do it. Step one, step two, step three, step four, step done with no real explanation. So hopefully each video stays somewhat shorter. These are not really getting started tutorials but you can definitely see the getting started process from it. Uh, the other thing it does is gives you kind of a direct parallel. So when I'm done and I've covered a number of different game engines, you'll be able to see the same game implemented in multiple engines. So you can get a good idea of what the different workflows are like, the different code styles are like, etc. So hopefully it's a good way for you to decide between different engines and sometimes just to see you know, how a simple game is implemented in various different engines. And that's the question I leave to you. What game engines would you like to see covered? Now, the example you're seeing in front of you is actually from a Play Canvas tutorial I did just recently. So Play Canvas is already done. I'm going to retroactively consider that part of this tutorial series. So when I create a playlist, I will be throwing Play Canvas in there. Um, so Play Canvas is covered. Uh, beyond that, I am looking for sure to be covering uh, Unreal Engine and Unity because they're the two biggies. Uh, I would definitely go the Godot route, but it's kind of iffy on where 3.0 release is in this because there's a lot of uh, changes for the 3D part of the rendering engine uh, for the upcoming version. But let me know uh, what other game engines you're interested in me doing this for. Now, there are some out there that I may not necessarily have a license for, like Leadworks or Leadworks. I'm not actually sure which way you pronounce that one. Um, so I may have some limitations there. But if I have access to the 3D engine and I can, so it supports all the functionality I need to actually implement this basic game, and most of the time the deal breaker there is going to be physics engine integration. So for example, right now, uh, Wave Engine would not work because there is no physics built in, but that is changing as we speak. Uh, so do please let me know uh, if the series interests you and if um, what engines you'd actually like to see it implemented in, and I will uh, run from there. Uh, thanks very much. See you all later. Goodbye.